Hi everyone, this is Angela and Dan Clark, my husband. Hi. So, we're here to talk today about something that happened at the mall, uh, I don't know, it's been a week ago now, I guess. And we went into the mall and the first thing we saw on the right side was this nice display window with these mannequins that were, were pure white with no hair, no eyes, really I don't think they had any mouth, uh, there's no identifying features as to male or female. Even the clothing that they had on, you can't really identify which, you know, which is which. There, there's no identity there. And I thought that's so weird. I was mostly attracted to the the mannequin, all white. It's white. It looked like a, a an alien, really. And I'm like, what the heck's going on here? It was so weird to me. And anyway, we marveled at that. And then we went on down to the next window, and we saw the same thing again. And the next one, and the next one. Oh my gosh! It ended up being the whole entire mall. And we're like, oh, how weird it is. And I, I just kept thinking, why, 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 you know? And then it's like, ah, oh, dehumanization, cancel culture. Um, and, and in a minute, I want to talk about cancel culture. But, you know, they're not wanting us to identify as women and men. And they're trying to make everybody the same. And um, the, even the clothes. Like when you go into a department store. Last time I went into one, um, I saw that you couldn't quite exactly be sure that that was the men's department and that's the women's department because there were women's clothes in, in the men's area and, and vice versa. I'm like, what the heck? You know, this is kind of weird. Anyway, I'm like, you know what? I'm a woman and I look like a woman. I act like a woman. I have hormones like a woman. Um, I have mental and emotional makeup that's different than a man. Um, I have different hormones, different chromosomes. Uh, my muscular makeup and features and stamina and all of that are different than a man's. We, we can't compete in Olympics and it be fair. You know, I am a woman. I am unique that way. And beyond that, you know what? There's not one single snowflake in, in that comes down out of the sky when it comes that is the same as another one. Not even one. And every one of us is unique. And um, I'm like, why are they trying to make us all the same? Why are they so intent on uh, children when they go to school now? Cannot They don't want you to say mom, dad, male, female, she, he. They just want everyone to be the same. They're teaching this to our children in school. I kid you not. And so this guy, he wrote a book. And uh, it was all about the, difference, the, the differences between men and women, male and female, boy and girl. And they literally have been attacking this guy like crazy. I don't remember the name of the book. It doesn't matter to me. What mattered to me was their heavy-duty attack on him to get rid of that out of the book. Well, hello. The whole book was about it. Um, I think this is important. I mean, look, I, I don't want to mean to be crass here, but let me just put it bluntly with you. If, if a, a child comes out of the womb and she has a vagina, then she is a woman and she should be able to identify with her mother, her facial features, how she expresses herself, how she moves her lips, her soft voice, her inflections, um, her tenderness, her kindness, her compassion, her nurturing nature, all of that. It's imprinted. And likewise with, with a man, same exact thing. If the baby boy is born with a penis, he's a male and he should be allowed to identify with his father and the way that his father acts. He has the same chromosome type makeup, the muscular features as a man. He should be able to identify with what men do that's different than women because we're not the same. Our bodies are not the same. We're not built the same. We're not made the same. We haven't had the same emotional makeup. I can't wait for the day for a woman to get out her shaver. I mean, really, start shaving. You want to be, you know, I mean, it's ridiculous to think about, right? Yes. Women don't shave their face. Men do. Men right. grow beards. Women don't grow beards no. and mustache. So we're Very different, different by nature. Very you know much what different. I mean? and we wear different deodorants. Yes. You know, some are stronger, less weak. You know, men are stronger, right? Right. So us women have a lighter uh, deodorant than men. We don't need it as much. Um, I don't want to be identifying myself as a man, and I don't think Dan wants to identify as a woman. However, I'm, I I do believe that man and woman are meant to balance each other out so if i'm not as male in my way of being as i need to be so that i'm balanced then dan kind of helps me to <clears throat> learn to be a little bit tougher because maybe i'm too you know soft and likewise when he's too hard with children or whatever i soften him out it's meant to be this way why are we trying to change it who's trying to change it what is going on here yeah and it was shocking to go in these stores like angela said and these mannequins, they, the the women's mannequins used to have breasts, you know, your mother used to turn you away, you know. Yeah. And now they now you can put men's clothes on them or women's. Yeah. And it's like that through the mall. Either the heads were shaved, 
All, all of them were shaved. They were all white, Dan. They were all... Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they were like shaved heads, and then some of them didn't even have heads. It was just, like Angela said, it was that, that uh, what do you call it? Medica? Uh, gender... Con oh, oh, gender uh, confusion? Yeah, the gender confusion. Like, they even had mannequins in this window here that were the same mannequins over here, but this one was wearing women's clothes and this one was wearing men's clothes. You know, they were interchangeable, and, and we don't believe it's because they have a shortage of mannequins. Oh, no. It's just, it was like that all through the mall. Yeah. And we were like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. Like I said, you, you couldn't tell what they were, male or female. And, and Angela and me go, oh, my God. That's what they're doing, gender confusion. Yes, and you know what it made me think of right away was the mask wearing that we did. Because, you know, it, it had sunken in, not, there was no eyeballs, okay? Um, nothing that identified them in any way. Um, it just, it looked, like I said, like an alien yeah. with, without a mouth. It just, it's like, it reminded me of wearing these masks that we wore so that all that you saw were, were the eyes, and that was it. And that just makes me think, and I wanted to mention this too, that we saw this video the other day that this man was, um, um, obviously, it was a song that we all know. Um, it, at least most of us would know it. Uh, most Eyes all of us. A face. Uh, maybe that was the name of it. And so he was in, obviously, in my opinion, anyway, to me, obviously, in a ritual uh, 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 thing going on. And and it was really icky. I mean, he was he was angry in the video. And then the 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 thing that he saw during his ritual thing that, that was going on, it seemed to be abuse, if you ask me, were these, eye, these eyes. That's all he saw. This thing was covered so that all you could see were the eyes, so it, probably so it could do its business, like, right? Like, if they could cover our eyes, they probably would. And it was just, it creeped me out, like, really, really bad. Like, oh, my gosh, you know, when he goes home at night, he has dreams of those eyes, right? It's like trying to cover up the identity. And I'm going to talk about this at the end of the video about why this is kind of important and why I think it's kind of going to tie all this in. Why would they want this like this? Who's wanting this? So I'm going to talk about that in the end. It ain't pretty. It, it's not. But I'm going to be honest. I like to be honest. Since I've been in a cult and I got out, I'm honest about everything what I see. So um, so we talk about the mask wearing, uh, covering up, um, no, ide no identity that's uh, distinct from anyone else, no expressive differences and, or uniqueness when we're wearing our masks. Children cannot see their mother's facial expressions, the love, the tenderness, the softness of her voice, the breath coming out that's not transmitted when male and female are together. There's Things come out of their bodies that are like you can't see them, but uh, they're they're I don't know what are they Dan hormones they're, yeah. it, that's Estro in yeah, estrogen something. something comes out in the breath and you're turned on with each other and it, it's all this natural we're cover ups cover up we're all the same or not different in any way it, it's all sick um, so anyway God made us all expressly different and unique from one another you know, with all of our unique differences and there's always male and female the Bible says the male and female made he them. And so, what do we have? Uh, there's not one the same. It's snowflakes. We have birds, male and female. We have all animals, male and female, fish, male and female, trees, male and female. If it wasn't like that, they wouldn't pollinate. We wouldn't have these pretty trees. We wouldn't have these pretty things that we see. There has to. There's chickens, male and female. I mean, everything is male and female. So it continues the population. Right. And, and you know, it's, would you believe it? It talks in the Bible about a time in history where uh, there are no children born. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why that might be. You know, trying to take away our, our identity as male and female. Uh, and they're trying to also, too, I feel that they're causing it to be that women cannot have babies and children by the stuff that they're putting in our bodies. It makes me mad. So, again, the Bible says in, in Genesis, the, God made male and female, made he them when he created us. And he said it was good and very good. Distinct differences. He, he set that out, too, and the differences. Um... So I'm a woman. I'm female. God says that what he made is good and very good. Don't try to convince me otherwise. That's what I got to say about whoever you are that are trying to gender confuse us and take away my identity as a woman and Dan's identity as a man. We like being woman and man. And you know, it's funny. When I was young, I used to, uh, it was hard enough. I don't know if you remember going through adolescence. The teenage years, you know, from 15 to, to 20, maybe. Yeah. Very confusing time. Oh, yeah. Who am I? What, what am I here for? What's going on? What's this all about? Life. And you were, it, it was a time where everybody's really confused as it is. Yeah. And now you throw on top of it gender confusion. Now, could you imagine you going in and the teacher saying, you might be a woman. 
you you might be a woman. You in fact you might be attracted to. I, I mean you know I, me as a man, right? You, you might be a woman, Dan. You might have women tendencies. You may you, you imagine? I'm already confused. So to take somebody like me or a woman and say, you know, you've got a lot of male tendencies. You, you may possibly be more male than you are female. I mean, this is what is going on today. And like you said, it, it creates this confusion. And, and you know, a, a lot of people are doing changes, you know, sex changes and different things. It's huge oh, yeah. right now. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it's when we saw the mall... And, and, and the mass kind of thing carried on, you know, this, uh, you know, this hiding your identity, you know, with, with these mannequins and stuff. It was just like a furtherance. It was yeah, sickening to be in there, wasn't it? Yeah, I called them, uh, okay, they were wigless, hairless, eyeless, sex sexless oh, mannequins. Yeah. yeah, they were. Sexless. You that, can put clothes on either one. Right. You could dress one like a woman, one like a man. That's messed up. And then up. we realized it was intentional. Yes, we realized this wasn't an accident. This no, is very, very intentional, intentional and sickening. That is why we're talking about this. And it's a program because as we walk through, through, through there, everyone's looking at the new identity. Yeah. What they're thinking is the new identity. What they're trying to convince people is the new identity, which is not the new identity. Amen. And we got to stand up against it. That's why we're talking <clears throat> about this today. I mean, imagine that author being told he's got to take it out of his book. That's just crazy. That's it. So, you know, the enemy, whoever they are, want us to uh, want us to identify without unique identity of any kind. That's what they're trying to do, trying to make us all the same. But here's what's weird about it. They're trying to make us all the same. So like in prison or whatever, they all have a number. You know, everybody's the same. Slaves during the slave era, they, they were all, well, they still we have slavery going on today. But they're, they're, there's no identity. They're a number. That's all they are. They're a number. They mean like nothing. Cattle. Like with cattle, a brand right. or the little metal thing in their ear, they tag them, yes. and they're just a number from That's that point right. on. And you know, in, in another country, in India, dogs are not dogs there, they're less than dogs. Imagine that you're less than dogs. You know, they're kicked around, you're thrown away, you're, you're, they're grossed out by you, get away from me, slap you around. That's how they treat dogs there. This is what they're making us into, like something that's not anything very unique, special of any kind. And that's not okay with me, um, that we're all the same, no, there's nothing different. Um, so we have the slaves and we lose when we allow this we lose our power and they gain power over us that's the problem guys so you know when a woman is abused or a man is abused then you you get weaker as time goes by if you don't stand up to it and you and pretty soon you don't even have opinion anymore because you know that's just gonna get you more slaps around more more beatings whatever um, in churches you're gonna get excommunicated for arguing for complaining for having a different view that's not okay with me either. And because that's not how the Bible sets it out. I mean, w when Jesus had that example in the Bible of the of that man who was on the side of the road, and it was his story that he told us, and and, and the, the Jews went by the man, ooh, if I touch him, I'll be unclean, I won't be able to, the next guy comes around, he was a different kind of a Jew, and oh, and I'm not gonna touch that man. And then a Samaritan man, and who's considered to be, you know, like like the dirty dogs, you know, like the lesser of, of the religion, because they were Jews, but they were like, watered down pagan Jews will put them put it that way that's kind of what a Samaritan was so who comes along and helps this guy the Samaritan the dirty rotten gross you know Samaritan as far as the Jews were concerned he's the one that chose to help Jesus said we're not to uh, to love just those that are like us we're to love those whether they're good to us or bad to us. We're to love them and love our neighbor as we love ourselves. We're not to have these differences. We don't say, I'm not going to help that guy. He's not, a, he's, not, he's not a one of us. Ooh, ooh. I don't care if he's dying. That's not my problem. No, that is not what we're called to be like. So all the way around, you know, we have to care for one another. We can't allow them to weaken us to this point, guys. we got to stand up to this. We're being taught to hate others not like us. Okay, so we're being told that we're all the same. The mannequins are all the same. We, we wear masks. We're all the same. There's no identity. But then we're divided. I mean, what are they doing? This th That alone is confusing to me because uh, it, we're all the same, but yet there's differences, and those differences make me, you should hate them, and we should not love them. Just like the Samaritan, you know, the man, it's like we hate him because of the Samaritan, the man who's there lying on the side of the road, he, he's not one of us, so I'm not going to help him. It's like, yuck, you know, no, you guys, no, we're all valuable. It doesn't matter the color, the race, the nationality, the religion, uh, I don't care what. It doesn't matter. That was the example that Jesus gave. 
So what about it? Okay, so um, so who's dividing us? Um, you know, again, if we're beaten down, we're going to get weaker and weaker and weaker as a society. So my question is this. Who is trying to take down this country or any country for that matter? Who's doing this? All the way across the, the board in all countries right now, they're beating everybody down, making them weaker and docile and weaker physically, mentally, emotionally, programming on TV, making you weaker, every which way. That, that I can go on and on about the different aspects of weakening. But you know them. I don't have to tell you. You're not stupid. You know all this. But who's trying to weaken this country? Who? Or your country, whatever country you live in. Who is doing this? What I want to say about that is it's not the majority. It never is the majority. The, the majority of people are human. The more majority of people Amen identify that, with man and woman, right? Yes. It's a minority, and it's tiny. They want us to think it's big. Right. All these movements coming in. Right. I won't go into them, but there's all these movements coming in, and they're like, oh, they want this right and that right. And, and it's not true. It's a minority. It's a small group right. and pretending we, to be a big group, and yep. media is trying to make it a big group. Yes. But the majority is like, no, this is not good. Amen. I, I, I like being a man, and a man wants to marry a woman. You, yes, know, you know what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely. So we, we got to stand up to this. And then the, the, I want to talk about our children. So I want to say this. Stop, I'm going to say a nice kind of word. I'm stop mucking with our children's minds and our children's heads. That's what I got to say. You guys, we got to stop this. Stop mucking with them. Try, trying to confuse their gender identity. If they And like, again, what I said about that. So, you know, if they have a vagina, they're a girl. If they have a penis, they're a boy. Let them be. Let them be. Don't try to cause trouble for them. Like Dan said, they have enough trouble as it is just trying to become who they're trying to become. Yeah. They're, they struggle to become, you know, who... Adults, you know, right. they're going through adolescence. It's Shoot. very confusing. Yes. Their, their heads go like this. I mean, and, and to, you know, to confuse them all the more is wrong. It is it, wrong. It's like destroying their souls. It, it really is. It's like is. uprooting them from themselves. You say, I'm not a man, then what am I? Well, you're you're a, you're both. You, you know what I mean? It's like uprooting that nature. Yeah. And when you uproot, you're, you're like a boat out in the sea. You're just adrift. You're just going every which way. Yeah. You can't do that. We can't uproot our children. No. We can't uproot the knowingness of who they are. If they're a man, they're a man. If they're a woman, they're a woman. And that is okay. And, and they need to be grounded in that Amen. and nurtured in that. And then they'll be stable. They'll be strong. They can build from that. Well, talk about confusing, Dan. We had that one woman that we knew. She she was married to a, a woman, and they adopted a child. And then she had some sort of counseling done. And all of a sudden, she woke up and she realized, "What am I doing? I am a I'm a woman, and I I am I I've been oh my gosh, what have I been doing?" And she went right back to being uh, the the kind of person that she was before. She got confused. And that, that's kind of weird that that happened. And she she went back to being the person where she was when she was married. Yeah, she was like a Hollywood model. Yeah, she was gorgeous. Um, so I want to. This is painful to have to t to read this to you, but in Deuteronomy twenty two verse five in the Bible we read, "A woman shall not wear a man's garment, nor shall a man put on a woman's cloak. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord our God." Are you now going to muck with the Bible? I just would like to say. Um, if that's how God set it up, and if he said that that's an abomination, which means that he absolutely does not like it, abhors it, says no to it, I didn't say it. It says it in the Bible. So what about it? What Then why are we doing this, this craziness going on right here where we're trying to gender confuse everybody? Um, I mean, this woman I was talking about, she was an adult when she, you know, got confused because of what people were teaching her. And now, and then she went back. I mean... <laughs> Why this confusion? Um, so, and then the last thing is the, the E-class. Now, you guys, when I say the E-class, I, I am going to trust that you know what I'm talking about, the E-class of people, okay? I'm not going to say the word because I probably get this video kicked off, but I might anyway. So, I feel that those um, that this whole cancel culture thing is horrible, and I'm going to read this part. And I feel that the powers to that be want control um most mostly of us and also to abuse, so that they can abuse us is to control so that they can abuse us and um, which I believe that they've been doing already for a long time look at the JW organization and the example of the worldwide church of God which is the one I grew up in uh, just to name a few if they can demean you and cut you down whoever these groups be whether they be religious or governmental or elite class or whatever 
um, they cut you down and you'll eventually become weak with no voice, especially if you're are you having a uh, especially if having your voice earned you punishment and shunning if if not excommunicated for not obeying. Okay, if they can turn you into feeling that you're less than a dog, and you can then act like a mindless weak human, like an abusive relationship, like in, in an abusive relationship, uh, you then see that that person is much less than you. And then it makes it much easier to abuse that person. Much easier. They would have, uh, they would have a much easier time abusing you uh, now. And being that you're in such a low estate, you are not like them, and therefore they can do whatever they want to you, and not have to deal with the guilty conscience that it that it would normally make. It makes it easier for them to do uh, to you what they want to do uh, in the way of abuse. Because they don't have to feel bad because you're so lower, less than... I know what this is like because I was abused. I was abused to the point of nearly dead. And it was icky because once they kind of had that in their mind that Angela is icky, Angela is weak, Angela is gross, Angela is... You know, and these things that they said to each other all the time about me. You know, uh, that, I, that I was... What was it? One thing... I see you slime me, one of my sisters said when I'm around you and, and all these demeaning things, then it was easier. The more they did it, the more it was easier for them to do it with no guilt because I was looking the part. My eyes were bugging out of my head. I did this funny thing I did. I was skinny. I had no breasts. I'm falling apart. It was easy. Just kick her. Kick her while you're down. You know that saying? Kick them when they're down, right? Yep. Oh, you guys, we can't allow this. Um, so trust me, there is some really, really, truly bad abuse going on in this world that goes on underground, and, for, and it's been going on for a very, very long time that we know not much about. We cannot now allow these people to do these things to us, you know, in this everyday society. You guys, we, we got to all stand up to this. So God made different cultures, different skin color, different personalities, cultural, cultural differences, differences in food, and he, God, calls it good and very good. I believe we have lived more than one life, guys, and apparently we've all lived um, as different colors, races, ways of being, different genders even, it sounds like. Um, I don't know, but... I will not look down upon anyone with differences. I, I am really working on that. I do not want to judge. We are not to judge. We've probably been there, and we just don't know it. There's no sense judging it, knowing that. And uh, this is what's believed, that we've lived in these different ways of being and color and size and woman, male, female. So we, maybe this life I'm this, but the next life I'm going to be something completely different. And yet right now I'm judging that? No. No, 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 no. So... Again, cancel culture means what, Dan? Let's talk about what cancel culture is. It's these differences. It's trying to cancel out the differences. Differences are good. They're healthy. They're fun. What would you do without Mexican food? What would you do without Italian food? We're all the same. You know, what if we, we all looked exactly the same? We wore the same exact clothes yeah. like they do in school sometimes. Everyone looks exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, and I want to make this point. What, what's happening with these people who are pushing this cancer, uh, cancel, cancel culture, cancel culture <clears throat> is they're trying to say that it's oneness. And what, what's interesting is we are all one. Me and Angela are one. I'm one with India, with Pakistan, with, you know, whoever. I'm one with them. But that doesn't mean I have to say I'm a woman. You know what I mean? And a man. It doesn't mean Angela has to say she's a man in order for us to say we're in this oneness, right? That the whole world is is are all children of God. See, we believe that, but that doesn't mean I have to say I'm not a man. And so, but the cancel culture says in order to move into the oneness, you've got to have the cancel culture. You've got to lose your identity. And then we, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but yet there are because we have... Uh, you know, black, white, yeah. Chinese, and Mexican. Uh, we have all these different cultures that are absolutely wonderful and beautiful and Just unique. Just like the varieties of flowers oh, and yes. fish and animals. It's wonderful. Where it's wonderful. We enjoy the variety. Uh, imagine going to Mexico and it looks like America. So, so and, and we go to Italy and it looks yes. like America. And we go, I mean, imagine that. Imagine everywhere you look, everything's the same. So we're one. We are one with everything. We we're are. one with nature. We need we need the water to, 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 to drink. We need the food that comes out of the ground. Yeah. We eat animals. You know, some of us do, some of us don't, you know, some of us are vegans, but, but we're all living off one another and, and sharing this air. We're all breathing the same air, but that doesn't mean I have to 
say I'm not what I am. And that's what this thing is about. Right. We don't have to cancel that out no. to move into this oneness, into this union with everybody and everything. And it's right. a beautiful thing. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Union with everything is beautiful, it, isn't it? It is, Dan. You know, and, and that means animals are not lesser than us. It means the plants that we eat are not lesser than us. It means, you know, whatever it is, it's not lesser than us. Nothing is, everything is beautiful and perfect as it is. And and it's, it's part of God. It came from God. He created it. Why, why would we hate anything? We must not allow these, these differences to be made, not differences, where everything is the same. Again, I believe that the root reason is because the E-class wants to make sure they don't have any guilt when they do these things to us. And that, to me, is the real reason that they're trying to do it. I think it's very, very planned, and it's weakening us. And we've got to stand up to it. We've got to stand for God and stand against those who don't stand for God and His ways. I'm sorry. Hate me if you will. I'm, I believe that what the Bible says is the best way for me. And if you don't agree, fine. I love you. Go ahead and disagree. I'm, I don't want to argue with you. You believe what you want. That's your right. I'm not going to get on, but I'm just simply saying I don't agree, but you don't agree with me. So who cares? You know, we don't if agree. you don't agree, like you change the channel, right? Right. You don't have to have, tell somebody no. to F off no. and I hate you and all this kind of name calling everybody right. does. There was a time. There was a time when you could say, I'm a Republican. And guys say, well, I'm a liberal, you know. I'm a, you know, conservative. Right. And, and, there was, and there wasn't no fight. No. It was a joke. You'd have a beer together, you know? Right. And now, now the, the cancel culture has told us we've got to hate each other. Yeah, if we're we, not, we you, gotta, you got to be like me. If you're in that class, I want nothing to do with you. We've lost family members over it. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, oh, yeah. over this thing. And Plenty. it's like, when did it turn to hate? When did all this turn to hate, hating one another because we're different? Right. And so now they say, well, you, you can all be the same, but you just got to lose your identity. Right. I mean, this is crazy. It is crazy. So you guys, please, we're, I'm begging you, please rethink this. And please realize that we're here to love one another. And, and we're not supposed to judge anything or anybody or any different something different than ourselves. If they're a different religion than us, completely and entirely, we should love them and not, not do this to each other. So that's just our encouragement. Let's be the love. Let's, let's be examples of love. Let's not judge each other. Let's accept one another. Let's be open to one another and, and try to not buy into this, this, this cancel culture, uh, dehumanization problem that's going on here. And that used to be America. One nation under God and worship as you will. Right. If you want to go down the streets of New York and do your thing, if you want to wail your head on a wailing wall, if you want to go into a Christian church, wh whatever it is you want to do, that's that's your choice. That's right. That's your choice, and that's the way it should be. And we just go like this, you know. Amen. It's your path. Amen. It's it's not our business. But no. but to hate. Yeah. To hate? That's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's and wrong. And division, causing division or in, inspiring division in any way is wrong. So anyway, we love you. We just want to encourage our, our family in this world. You're all our family, no matter where you're from. We love you. And um, I, I really, really mean that. Today I was yeah, talking to do. a Filipino on, on the phone, and I'm like, oh, I, I remember this guy, you know, that I knew. And he, oh, my gosh, he had all his talent, and he, he loved using it. And I was so touched by it, and he worked so hard. And I just love you guys. I, I have good memories of, you know, what I've, the Filipinos that I've been around. And, and that was just an example. You know, I, I love the differences. We should love and embrace the differences. So anyway, that's it, you know, from Dan and Angela Clark. And um, anyway, that's it. All right. Good All right, night. Thank you, guys. God Enjoy. bless. Enjoy your weekend. All right. Happy Mother's Day.